Super Show feature is on an upcoming event called the Einstein Lectures. Kweku actually had the privilege of sitting with the cousin of world-renowned German physicist um, Albert Einstein. Let's check it out. All right, welcome back. It's time for us to get into a very interesting conversation. Now, if you have heard of the scientific formula E equals MC squared, well, you know what it's relating to, right? You know who it's related to. Well, it's a conversation this morning, and uh, we're not talking exactly about E equals MC squared, but there's a connection. Okay, let me introduce you to my guest who are in studio. I have with me um, author Ralph. Um, I also have with me uh, Dr. Shante uh, Flonoy. Um, and then I also have Professor George Prisable Einstein. Yes, you heard it, Einstein. Let me just welcome them first of all. Welcome to the Breakfast Daily. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now, let me start with you, Arthur Ralph. Um, you're the founding president of um, Relevant Achievers Impacting Nations. Why have you brought these esteemed guests to Ghana? Well, um, good morning to your distinguished listeners. Um, so, rightly, as you put it, I'm the founding president of the Relevant Achievers Impacting Nations. We have a network within Rain Foundations, if you okay. like, that is the predecessors awards mm. worldwide. Now, what we do is um, to honor heroes in society who have left their footprints in the sands of time. Mm. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple years now. Okay. Last year, we honored some 27 um, heroes in Europe, okay. um, constituting countries like uh, France, Belgium, Finland, Germany, and so on. Um, we honored 33 in Africa mm. and then 26 in America, wow. of which Professor Einstein was one okay. of the honorees. Okay. Um, he happened to be the outstanding personality of last year's um, edition of the America Awards. Okay. And as part of the package for our honorees, we get them to undertake projects. Mm projects that are within the scope of their heartbeats. Okay. And um, we, as a team, as an organization, we help precipitate the execution of such projects. Mm. Now, um, in America, we have the Einstein Medical Institute, mm. of which Professor Einstein is a founder. Okay. Uh, we have not anything like that in Africa. Mm. So I thought that um, it would be great to have um, what we have in America, yeah. here in Africa, okay. and for that matter, in Ghana. Mm. I shared my thoughts with him, and he welcomed the idea. Okay. And let me say that I met Professor Einstein through Dr. Shanti, okay. who is the second vice president of the predecessors of wars worldwide, mm. and also a medical doctor. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, let me come to you, uh, Dr. Shanti. What's your connection to... Professor Einstein. Yes. Yeah. Is there a connection? There is a connection. Okay. There's a connection there. Talk to us about it. So that. I want to first say thank you for having me come from America to Ghana. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. To the connection you. here is Dr. Einstein was my professor in the PhD program. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Now, um, let me just ask you this is your first time in Ghana? This is my third time in Ghana. Your third, third time in Ghana. Yes. Okay. And what's the experience been like, not in sense of like a socio-economic sense, but in terms of the projects that you're working on and impact that you're, you're seeing? What's the, that experience been like? Okay, the experience is definitely positive. As he has mentioned, the need for the Ghanaian people to empower them mm. uh, and to there's a, a saying that if you teach a man to fish mm. he will never go hungry yeah. so it's to enlighten to bring mm. the power here mm. to the uh, education system yeah. to further it mm. fantastic all right so let me uh, come to prof um, your I mean you have a, you've had a distinguished career you know so many years of impact in different levels um, in, 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 in science and medicine and so on and so forth. For you, what is your heartbeat when it comes to looking at everything that you've done? What is your heartbeat? Yes, um, 
I am, I feel strongly, uh, the mission for humankind, that the mission is by education that will synchronize mm. with the foundation. Mm. Education, education is the information. Education is the f skills. Mm. But next step in my area of interest of application, uh, biophotonics, stimulation of the immune system, as a successful treatment, mm. uh, and uh, uncurable disease. Okay. Uh, what I want to not mm. discover this in this moment, uh, we will leave this for September, is uh, to just make with education people healthy. Mm. And that health synchronize also for my bit of my heart mm. and from my humankind yeah. mission to the world. Mm. Because of level of science doctor and philosophy doctor as academic, the highest degree, yeah. is for me very important to unify the world mm. who are divided by religion, sometimes misunderstanding the culture, uh, and uh, all divided by political science. Yeah, yeah. Political science. Yeah. So right now, only the voice who need to be go from the basis, from the people, and the people need to through the education mm. and health, who we are giving them energy, mm. the quanta photonic energy. Okay. That is giving this. Uh, yeah. Movement. Okay. To the world. All right. Now, I want to ask you that, um, of course, the, the v viewers are watching, and I think there's fascination will, for a lot of people would be how are you related to the Albert Einstein? Yes. Uh, uh, I will tell you uh, indirectly. Uh, I was uh, living in a communist country that was prohibited to com communicate with West. Okay. When he died, I was 14 years old. Mm. Right. And 14. Uh, 14 years old. Mm. My mother uh, only survived from this uh, exodus. Okay. Uh, and my father, because it was on one at least, he didn't leave, didn't, didn't leave Europe. Mm. So he found out that he need to leave the area of Germany okay. when the occupation was there, and he escaped to the Francais. Okay. And the Francais, finally, they got him. And 14 of June, mm. 14, uh, 1941. Okay. No, 40, uh, 44. 1944. I was three years old. Okay. So in this moment, it was. Uh, prohibited mm. the side of Europe, Poland became to Eastern Europe, yes. a communist country yes. under occupation of the uh, Soviet Union, mm. uh, and uh, we didn't have any information, but only from my mom I get the information mm. of uh, the communication I see. and the connection. Okay. Now, uh, we were speaking of uh, earlier, and I just get the sense of um, you feel almost like you've been given the burden to carry um, on the work and extend further the work of Albert. Yes. You know, um, tell us about that and the impact that you're looking to have in the medical field. Yes, that's, that was very important. Uh, and that was uh, just inspired me strongly mm. in high school. Okay. On Dagestan, we have very uh, they, in Europe they call professors as well, mm. and uh, but professors of high school, and and this time I have also a very inspirational professors who uh, emphasize strongly on mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Okay. So uh, for me to talk about human mm. existence is very important. The na our nature psycho nature, brain, uh, uh, physical nature, mm. physics, chemical nature, mm. chemistry. chemistry. If this, tr this triangle 
uh, energy is in coherence mm. and harmonic coherence, the uh, system is dynamic, yeah. that I decided to, through my education um, to go through the uh, multi, uh, multi uh, uh, education okay. as physicist, as engineer, mm. and uh, everything helped me later on became a natural mathematical doctor yeah. right now mm. and of uh, course PhD. So this is the, this was the heart uh, to uh, correlate, to correlate chemistry, phys physics, yeah. and s uh, the neural mm. system. Mm. What is in brain? Fantastic! I love that. Um, I mean, let me come back to you, um, author of the 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 thing he's sharing right now about how that we go to school, right, right. and we math physics, chemistry, and people ask the question, why are we learning all these things that we are learning, you know, as though it doesn't have relevant impact. But from everything that he's saying and what he's done, there's a direct cor correlation between what we're studying and even our health. That's right. The fact that you're walking around as a healthy person has everything to do with chemistry, everything to do with physics, everything to do with math. Now, why... Talk to us about the program or what you're looking forward to um, in terms of impact that is going to happen this year. Okay, so um, before that, I, yeah. I would need to uh, bring to our attention mm. that all of us alive, we have dreams which we look forward to fulfilling. Mm. Um, I have a different uh, perspective when it comes to dreams. I don't see a dream as an ambition. I look at a dream, I actually look at a, the word dream as an acronym for okay. a divine, realistic, extraordinary, achievable mission. So I believe we're all here on earth with a mission, a mission. that is divine, okay. that is realistic, okay. that is extraordinary, mm. and that is achievable. Okay. Now, to fulfill your dream, you have to be healthy. Absolutely. In other words, you have to be alive mm. to be able to fulfill your dream. So, the subject or the conversation around health is an indispensable one. Mm. And uh, Professor Einstein will tell you that when it comes to issues of health and longevity of life, uh, music, love, and uh, mathematics are of critical importance. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, we um, dreamed up the idea of bringing Professor Einstein to deliver some lectures mm. in Ghana, Kenya, and South Africa in okay. September. Okay. And um, the three centers of Africa, anyway. Right. You know. So, <laughs> the Einstein lectures we call it Tell Africa. Okay. okay. So in September, Professor Einstein, Dr. Shante, and a, a, a team of other, you know, host of other people mm. will be um, coming to Ghana to deliver some very um, high impact lectures. Mm. Um, we'll be going to Kenya and South Africa as okay. well. Um, in the same month, we'll be launching what I believe to be historic, the Einstein Memorial Institute. Okay. And um, the Einstein Memorial Institute represent three things. We represent imagination, creativity, longevity. Wow. And uh, we believe that these three are very critical importance, especially in this mm. continent. You know, in Africa, we seem to give preeminence to just one of the five faculties of the mind and that's the faculty of memory mm. and so when you go to school and you're able to memorize what yeah. you are taught yeah. and um, you do it effectively you come out and we, we, we are told that you are a first class student yeah. but more often than not the faculty of our imaginations yeah. are untapped that's, that's why we don't have much creativity in yeah. this part of the world yeah. and so the Einstein Memorial Institute mm. looks to activating this mm. critical faculty of the mind, yeah. which is the let imagination. Me, let, me, let me come to Dr. Shante. In the African-American experience, what would you say it's been like um, regarding what um, author Ralph is talking about, the, the lack of creativity as a result of maybe a social stifling of sorts, you know? Um, what's that like? Generally, I mean, considering the fact that you've educated yourself to a very, very high level, um, but the general, you know, experience for African American people, um, what has that been like? Um, I believe that it's it's more freedom. I would say for education mm. in the U.S. Mm. Um, there's no pressure 
but there's no limits. Okay. And so the creativity is encouraged mm -hmm. in the African American community. Mm -hmm. um, the emphasis that I'm finding, um, being that I'm visiting Ghana, yeah. and I'm learning the culture and how to integrate it, mm -hmm. I am finding that the African uh, in Ghana, uh, they're more highly emphasis on the education yes. for the African American yes. than it is in the US. Yeah. Okay. And so it has definitely inspired me to even take back mm. the experience that mm. I have here mm. um, to the uh, America, to US yeah. of A, yeah. uh, to emphasize to our young people mm. how treasure it, it is here, mm. that we should treasure it more there, mm. put more emphasis and to move forward. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's interesting, you, you know, the, I'm wondering though, and Ralph, you may be able to help me on your perspective on this one. The education emphasis is very high here, but what's driving that? For me, I'm thinking it's possibly as a means of escape from the doldrums and the experience that we've had. We see education as a means to you know escape that not necessarily as a means to explore and you know see more of the world per se but it's more as a means of escape i don't know what you think i, I agree with you I, I i think that um i would also say that education in this part of the world mm -hmm. is more of a, a quagmire i call mm -hmm. it a quagmire like mm -hmm. a difficult situation mm -hmm. and um uh, more often than not, people see education as a space for uh, preparation to, to, as it were, make a living. Yeah. So I'm in school and I'm waiting to finish, mm. to complete, mm. then get a job, and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, however, education is supposed to be fun, if mm. you like. Yeah. If you look at Europe, you look at America, yeah. from childhood yeah. growing, um, education is fun. It's, yeah. it's, made, it, it's not a difficult thing. How many children um, in Ghana or in Africa love to wake up on Monday and go to school? You know, and how many children are not happy on Fridays when yeah. the weekend is approaching? <laughs> so there has to be um, a conversation around making yeah. education fun, um, creating that space, if you like, of liberty, mm. allowing that explorative aspect of man yeah. to, you know, to lose. I think that we are more in a box mm. than outside the box. So yeah. we're not even allowed to yeah. think outside the box, yeah. if you like, yeah. yeah. All right, finally, let me wrap up with you, um, Prof. So earlier when we spoke of air, um, one of the things that I gleaned from our conversation was that you're looking at um, bringing health to all humans, if possible, but from the cellular level, Correct. Yeah. Why is that important? <clears throat> because, uh, let's see, my um, basic uh, is uh, not a rigid model, but basic is 10 constraints of our system, mm. uh, like through the brain, heart, uh, lungs, and next uh, digestive system, uh, immune system. Uh, next, uh, uh, kidney, uh, uh, endocrinological system, yes. right? K kidney, kidney uh, right? right yeah. And next, uh, musculoskeletal system, skin, okay. right? And next, still, is a, a reproduction system, yeah. as well uh, as DNA, nucleus, okay. DNA. DNA, and this is a molecular level, mm. uh, just cell. Mm. And that is this near on my whole model is on the uh, immune system okay. uh, constraint. So the ten system need to be in harmony, okay. coherence. When uh, uh, your spirit, mind, body, mm. general, mm. is uh, uh, in peace. Mm. The first triangle what I try to talk about is brain, heart. Uh, and the uh, lung. Mm. If, simple for everybody, mm. I will tell, if your mind is in peace, mm. your heart is beat slowly and strongly. That's true. Uh, <laughs> you can see right now the blood is going everywhere, mm. right? And it's, uh, you feel different. Mm. Uh, but 
in the same, the same moment when brain is in peace, heart beats strongly, mm. the, if you sit, you automatically you feel that you are breathing deeply. Mm. And there's, each day I'm doing this on the ocean side, okay. and I uh, see, feel by myself. Yeah. So that is the, if I synchronize the mm. energy on the first triangle mm. and the next to the other one yeah. part, yeah. that is that is the energy mm. for longevity, mm. for harmonic system.